Good morning, everybody. It's David George Brooks, that gratitude guy with the daily gratitude business briefing for Thursday, July 30th. Constantly talking about and getting to you aspects of business where gratitude can make such a big difference between you managing and supervising and leading employees and how it can be done in a more effective way using gratitude principles. So I want to talk about a couple of brief things this morning. Employee feedback. One of the things we talked about with employee feedback is, of course, being grateful that the employee is doing a good job for you, but making it specific feedback and not just in general, hey, great job on that, as opposed to say something, thank you so much for changing those boxes out. They make a much better presentation when they're lined up to the left versus to the right. And thank you again for doing that and cleaning up the stock room as an example. So very, very important for that. It has to be something that's meaningful. That way it, it plants it better. I think also another aspect of this leading and how we manage people and more effectively get them to do what we want them to do with a smile on our face is being what I call a motivated and an inspired leader. The number one rule uh, I feel more than anything else is setting the best example. I've said it before and I'll continue to say it. It's the same thing as raising children and managing people. The top number one thing you have to do is set a great example. I remember being at a, a large uh, home improvement store that I managed for a while and I'd be out at, in the parking lot picking up trash at uh, five in the morning before we opened at 6 a.m. A couple of the employees said, why are you doing that? You're the store manager. You don't need to be doing that. We have people that do that kind of thing. And I thought, you know, I said to that person, I got to set a good example. I need to be here before the store opens and I need to be picking up trash, bringing carts in, doing whatever it takes, helping people with their carryouts or whatever, because I got to set a great example. And then that carries on down to everybody from the highest store manager down to the, the lowest level that might be in that store. I think also it depends a lot on the aspect that you have as far as being a leader. There's some people they say are leaders born or made. And I think sometimes leaders just naturally have an ability to want to take charge. I remember years ago, I was on a, a jury case and it was a, a assault with a deadly weapon in the, in the Superior Court in Seattle, Washington. And once the case was over, we went into the jury room and after four or five days of this case, we had never even spoken to each other, the 12 jurors. And I remember being just dressed casually and just smiling to the people, but never saying anything. When the, court, the case was over, we go in, the bailiff comes in and says, okay, I got two things you need to do. Number one, you need to elect a jury foreman. And number two, after the jury foreman is elected, you want to take a straw poll to see how people think the person is guilty or not guilty. And then let me know if you need any exhibits for me and I can get you things. Uh, in this case, it was a coffee table leg where a guy beat up another guy. So the guy goes, any other questions? The bailiff says that and he leaves and closes the door. 10 of the 11 people point to me and go, we want you to be the foreman. <laughs> I'd never even said a word. So sometimes there's going to be just naturally things that you want to move to the top and lead, but still the best way by far is setting that great example. So tomorrow we're going to go into more detail about some of the things that you can do as a leader to really, really be that inspired leader and motivate people. And certainly using gratitude as one of the core principles. So that's the message for today. We'll see you on the daily gratitude business briefing tomorrow. Have a great day. I'm that, I'm that gratitude guy. Remember, be grateful and never quit.